Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play. Lamentum. <laughs> Lamentum. <laughs> Took me a second to remember what the name of this was. <coughs> In the last episode, we met more survivors here in the mansion. We have the names of five people who apparently were part of a cult and or a ritual which was performed here in the mansion. Likely things either went awry during that ritual's invocation, or perhaps this is the end result of it being successful. I somehow doubt it, however, given the boss that we defeated in the last one, Wesley, a spider creature who apparently had really wanted to walk again and get out of the wheelchair he was confined in. It's my belief that we're probably going to have to fight all the people who were indicated on that one slip of paper. So Clayton, Graham, and Edmund. Or Edmund. And possibly, hopefully not us. <laughs> hopefully not some sort of other mirrored version of us as well in the future. Hello, what is this? Okay. Alright, so... Uh, I guess we'll take a look at our supplies really quick. I meant to walk around outside for a bit and explore to see if we missed anything hidden, like, behind statues or by trees. But I accidentally walked into a room that we hadn't walked into yet, and a cutscene started to play, and I immediately altered Ford. <laughs> so, <coughs> well, I didn't get a chance to do any of that. I also did not do any inventory magic, which is annoying me to no end, viewer. You have no clue how annoying it is to know my stash is messy. But I have to use, I'll have to save the game if I want anything I do to the stash to uh, be saved, as it were. So when we come back to save the game in about another 20 minutes or so, or 30 minutes or so, then we'll go ahead and uh, do some stash inventory management at that point. All right, so I think we're set. And I think when we had last left off, we had done some unlocking of these various rooms with the key we had. This was the room I had walked into. We begin to play a cutscene, and I immediately quit. So... What do I want to do? <laughs> we're right near... We're right near a, um... A door that we can interact with, right? So... Oh, no, we're not over there. We're over here. This is where you are. Okay. So... We've been up in that room before? I don't remember what's up there. Let's take a peek. Oh, the garden. I can't remember if we searched everything here. I think we did, though, right? I'm pretty sure we did. Since I'm in the area... Well, that was interesting. There's, like, a little area here that's slightly, uh, like, an uh, indentation. Okay. This is where we got the gear. I'm positive of it. But since we're here... And since I don't know if we missed anything, and since the pillars are now deactivated, we'll go ahead and quickly walk against the walls. It occurs to me that there might be things hidden in rooms that we might lose access to, viewer. We got a key from one of those baby rooms, and I think those are now locked. Which means that it's quite possible that we have some stuff we can't get again. That's interesting if that's the case. It also means that maybe I shouldn't really care too much about searching for secrets here or there. Because I probably already have missed one or two things. And you know what? I apologize. Yeah, let's not do that. Rub my face against walls. 
sorry, this picture looks like one of the Ragoths that we've seen lying around, only it's served on a on a plate. Okay. So we're gonna go. Let's actually go here. And we'll check the room I had accidentally walked into. This is a plate of cutscene. I, once again, I alt F4 immediately. But, well, let's go investigate together. Hope you guys don't mind the fact that I walk everywhere in this in these games. I absolutely love the atmosphere. This game did a fantastic job actually having such a great atmosphere as this otherworldly ritual that went wrong in some of these monsters here. I really like this. Oh, wow! So that's that's a pretty nightmarish thing to see. And we have more writing here again. Let's get the writing written down first. It doesn't look like we're in any immediate danger. I'm guessing over... Oh, I see a... Oh, there's some object over there, I see. I'm guessing the thing on the tree is potentially maybe still alive if blood continues to ooze from it. Okay, we'll take a look at what this spells out later with you guys. Who would be able to do such a thing? It's horrible. We did it, probably, along with the other members of the cult. The corpse is mutilated and tied to the tree. It's horrible. I wonder how a tree could have grown here. Half a bottle of laudanum. I can't stop thinking about what I did. I hope you rest in peace among my dear muses. Yeah, we probably did this, right? This is another one of those, uh... Amnesia twists where we are the monster. Okay, so what? Uh, which of these symbols do we know? One of these could be R. T. Are they upside down? Oh, these are upside down. Some of these are upside down. I think is what this is. So hold on. R, maybe, E, T, we don't know what that one is, U, M, no, I don't think it is upside down. Well, no, I don't think it is. I need to look at that one symbol again in the upper left hand corner. This one. a dot in it, which would make that M, not A. Okay. I don't know what this spells yet. R, E, T. We don't have this symbol. U, M. Since we're in the basement, let's go investigate the other door over here, too. 
know what just occurs to me? We don't really even need the cursor on screen. Only when we use the pistol do we need it. Otherwise, it doesn't matter where my cursor is. We swing our poker in the direction we're facing, so I'll try to keep it off the screen. Another alchemical area. This must be maybe the workshop where we pick up the rega uh, aqua reglia? Regia? Vitriol oil. I don't remember what we need. Half bottle of laudanum. More ink. Warehouse inventory. The last sack of salt has been taken to the kitchen. We must replenish. We need to buy more sulfur. The arsenic shipment was in bad shape. The gardener needs strong water for the weeds in the garden. going to go... Uh, no. Let's go there. I want to do a little more exploring first before we create this fluid. So that this way, when I, after I'm done creating the fluid, we can save the game with that one ink ribbon we picked up. Why didn't I just go upstairs, take the one staircase, and go down the other staircase, walking all the way around the basement like this, Tim? I want to keep the one ink ribbon in my inventory so I can do some sorting afterwards. It's too late. All right. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and investigate the final door that we unlocked. A heads up that I quickly looked at the Steam page for this game, looking at the screenshots, and I believe at the moment we are still rather early on in the game. Or perhaps we're maybe about to be one third or so done of the game. And that the enemies look like they get significantly tougher in the future. <laughs> I think we'll be fighting enemies that are faster than us and potentially have range attacks soon. So, we're gonna start taking hits. The other gar side of the garden. I have left the mansion again. It's still raining. Like when I arrived at Grav Hill. How long have I been here? No, there's no time to think about that. I have to find Alyssa. They are boxes full of fertilizer. Guess we might discover how they grew a tree down in the basement soon enough. Let's try it with the melee weapon. Actually, maybe we can just avoid it. Learning that we can't heal from the inventory is something I like, but something I also need to, oh, prepare for.
That thing has to have some sort of poison effect around itself. I like these creatures. These things seem very plant-like as opposed to what was inside the mansion. Almost as if there was a different god invoked out here. Or corrupted these things a bit differently. Reminds me of the tricksters creatures in the thief game. I would like to fully explore this area. This area being this particular room. It's pretty quick. You can dodge up past it. I wonder if it's going to be on the other side of that door waiting for us. I guess we should try fighting these things to see how what the it's what's involved in dealing with them. Okay, that one went back. Let's try fighting this thing. Okay, it it has seen us. It's not stunned. Oh, it can be stunned. Stunning is random. Ah. Half bottle of laudanum. That gives us quite a bit of healing, doesn't it? Maybe we should. I'm not gonna search the wall. I'm not gonna search the wall. Maybe we should fight the other creature just to see how that works. Let's give it a go. It looks like it was charging us, so it, I'm guessing it has a it splits itself open and it emits poison. other attack except for that. Okay. That's not so difficult to handle. And we need the vine key or infinity key to open that door. Okay. I don't know what we need the Aqua Regia for at the moment. Regia? Hello, miss. Before we talk with you, I just want to peek over here really quick. Nothing over there. Victor! It's you! Do you know me? We all know you in Grav Hill. Don't you remember me? I don't remember anything. I woke up wounded in my room. I was all covered in blood. I tried to bandage you as best as I could. You lost a lot of blood. I thought you wouldn't survive. Was it you who healed my wounds? I thought it was Alyssa. Alyssa? Alyssa is my wife. I'm looking for her. Have you seen her? Sorry. I haven't seen her. I didn't know you were married. It's always seen... I've always seen you alone in Grav Hill. Grav Hill. 
How long have I been in this place? Have we been in this place? I don't remember, Victor. In this place, time passes in a different way. You shouldn't be alone out here. The gardens aren't a safe place. I'm not alone. She's here with me. Can't you see her? Victor, do you want to stay with us? We'll apologize and say we're still looking for our wife. No, sorry. I'm looking for my wife. I can't stay with you. It doesn't matter. We will be waiting together. This is a rather large area without any real hostiles. I guess it doesn't have to be anything hostile just to, like, you can have a garden without any monsters in it. That's perfectly acceptable, Tim. <laughs> That's not something you should even consider potentially complaining about. It's fine for you to have a nice gardeny path without monsters in it. Hedge maze. I was hoping we'd see something like this. A rather large one at that. We have inventory space. Let's give it a look. Apparently, there's gardeners here, too. A little closer to that thing. Last time I was in a hedge maze. Uh-oh. Oh, wow! There's a lot of things all of a sudden. Anyway, it was just uh, the other day. I was playing uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Oh, we can't really swing down. You can swing up and to the left and right, but not down. Okay, gotcha. I like the statue. Is that a vest or a mouth in, in the chest? What are other games I've played that have hedge mages like this? Resident Evil 4. Didn't play the remake. I've heard good things about it, but I don't own it. Coltic. There's a game I really wanted to record. Unfortunately, it, the, the files are just massive uh, after a recording session. And you wouldn't be able to see anything. The game's... Uh, graphically, the game's not the best. I mean, it's it's wonderful. It's just such an incredible... Uh, I guess the, impression, the term is boom, boomer shooter. Oops, wrong button, Tim. Half bottle of laudanum.
Uh oh. Hello. Let's keep searching the garden. Okay, let's let's stop searching the garden. There are more things there we haven't. Oh wow! Actually, she's part snail. We can maybe just ignore her. Okay, we un I guess this door was shut or locked. So that's uh, that's good that we were able to get through it on this side. Or we would have had to figure out what the snail girl was able to do. I like the, the uh, imagery of her. She looks creepy. Anything that seems like a mini boss like she does is something that I want to avoid needing to spend ammunition from. And it looks like she is indeed going to be slow enough that we can probably avoid her. Lots of healing supplies. They're getting faster, some of these things, but they're still handled quite readily. Okay, so I'm guessing we're running low on breath by how the screen darkens. Which means that this area is probably considered a hostile area. Even though there's no... Cr I'm sorry. Which slows us down is being in a hostile area, as opposed to there being a creature actually physically near us. some reason that I, I really want to destroy this one. Did a good job on the rain also here and the sound effect of it. Sounds sounds right, looks good. spawn out here, which would make sense for a garden. If the things out here are created from uh, the plant life. I like that a lot, actually. So far, the game has been a bit too easy, I feel. If we get respawning enemies, even though they're not that difficult, I think I like that. bullet there. I don't see anything flashing by that statue. It's a requirement all mansions have... Oh, we can't even make it over there. All mansions have a hedge, hedge maze. 
Oh, hello! Are those as pincers or are those two heads? Hope that we can uh, that we can sneak past it. This one looks like it's probably guarding something important. Nope. Uh, ooh. I would like to not fight that thing. I don't think we have to. We still look okay at this moment. Snail girl again. Oh, she's sleeping out here in the rain. We just got a little too close to her last time. I wonder if she's guarding anything over there. If she is, I do, do not see anything flashing. I'm not going to def to destroy her just to see if she possesses anything. That seems rather... Uh, mercenary. this door goes. A safe room. I cannot sleep tonight either. The light from the lamp in my room has attracted some moths. They flutter nervously around it. Some of them get too close to the flame and burn. Why do they hover near a light that can end their life? Every night I see Edmund through the library windows. That young man, Victor, he seems very sad. I would like to come closer and ask him what his pain is, but I can't find the strength to do it. Every night I watch from a distance, wondering how I could help him. This must be the girl we spoke to in the, in the garden, I'm guessing. The full moon continues to shine and the moths continue to flutter around the flame. Maybe I'm a moth too. M. Well, we know one of these is three, but not what the other symbols are for that padlock, I'm guessing. There's nothing else secreted here. All right, so. Let's go make the Aqua Regala. I'm adding lots of L's to the second one. <laughs> the second word there. Let's go and do it. Then we can come back up here and save the game. So what do we think is happening, viewer? Obviously there was a ritual. We don't have any memory of our part in it. I guess we drank the same fluid that uh, Daniel drank back in Amnesia the Dark Descent for the ritual itself. Oh, look at that. And there's moths around the lantern by her, too, huh? We'll come back and talk with her again later. 
on the way back up. I wonder if that's uh, the moths there have any symbolic meaning besides what we had just read about, huh? Oh, we didn't search the little garden of the house out here, did we? Let's take a quick peek inside. Oh, actually, why not take this half lawn them and use it to heal that pit we took? Or maybe we don't do that? No, let's do it. Another safe room. A shovel. Guess we'll take this. A rusty shovel. It's poorly maintained, but it will do the job. Some ink. I'll leave the ink there at the moment. This year, the lilacs are growing beautiful. I'm sure the Count will be delighted. Oh, that was the, the flower we gave to Alyssa. However, I cannot yet... I cannot get the weeds that grow next to the hedges. I cannot get rid of them. Maybe I should use strong water to burn them? I know Lord Steinrot makes chemicals in the basement lab. I have used strong water. I shouldn't have. The smell is irritating. I'll put it in a jar and bury it under the boxes of fertilizer. Okay, that's good to know where we will, we will use the shovel. I guess we could do that right now. They were right over here. Oh, that's how this works. Okay. Oh, we found it. Just like that. Okay. A bottle of strong water. Oh, this is aqua uh, regalia. It's a corrosive compound known as spirit of salt. You should handle it with care. Maybe I could find more information in the basement lab. I saw aqua, right. right. Aqua regia. I guess, or regia? I guess it means strong water? I do want to make some more of it. Okay, let's go back down to the basement. And we will indeed make the stuff. We have done quite a bit now, so I am I'm worried about not saving the game. I've been playing for almost 40 minutes too, it looks like. Oh, this was the kitchens. Okay, this was not where we wanted to be. M. Time passes differently. I wonder if the adult girl was Mary again. Where am I going? Oh. It was the other door. So, not that one. It's this one. Okay, so... We'll need salt. Do we save the game first on the off chance this is not cor Like, we can mess this up? I'll hope that we can't. So let's, let's read this again. What do we do? Mix common salt with oil of vitriol. Heat and shake. Oh, add strong water to the mixture and filter. 
so we need the strong water also. We don't know why we need to make this, though. Not yet, do we? Well, let's make it anyway. So we're going to mix the salt and the vitriol, heat and stir, then add the aqua reglia. Have to wait a little bit. All right, the Bunsen burn is on, it looks like, so. It's salt and the vitriol. Add this. Should I stir that? Then add the aqua reglia, then filter. Okay, we got it. All right, everyone, so what I'm gonna do now is some inventory management. I'm gonna cut the recording. When I come back, I'll have done the inventory management and I will also save the game. So give me a second. All right, everyone, I now have a nice, so this again. I consistently forget that I have to do this. Alright, let's equip. I have a nicely sorted storage now. All the items I'm not likely to need are up here. Where they will stay probably untouched. I'm still figure out what the doll is used for. We'll just leave it. it. Looks like it has roots in it. Maybe maybe we can bury the doll in the little hole we made? If we run out of things to do, maybe we'll give that a try. Alright, so. Where to next? We have, we have, we created that substance. We haven't found any flesh that we need to actually singe or dissolve with it. So I guess we're going back to the garden. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's dark out there. And it wasn't dark a little while. It, was, it wasn't dark out there before. And now it's dark out there. Why is it dark out there now? There was light here before. How strange. Everything is dark. I'm getting dizzy again. Oh, okay. We're in Nightmare World again. Where am I now? I guess we're going to fight another spider if they give us another ammunition. of this place. I think I just saved the game. Actually, it might be a good thing I just saved the game, Tim, because you have to do this again. We haven't... Well, no, we have died, Tim. Remember? You died from that spear trap. Though I do want the cutlass. I keep moving my cursor up here, viewer. I'm so sorry if it's distracting. Okay, we have a baby. We're gonna kill it now. A 
full vial of laudanum. More regoths. That sounds like a spider to me. Uh, you might not realize if you were, but spiders in New Jersey make these. Oh, there's a spawner up there. Let's go get it. In New Jersey, spiders make these sounds. That's that's how I I, I kind of thought it was a spider from New Jersey. Ugh. It's a narch. Creature from a uh, Half Life. They still look good. They still look good. Oh, look at that, viewer. Okay, so. We probably missed something in the first dream sequence, is my guess now, that I've seen that we can miss things in these, because we're not allowed to go back to that, to that, uh, to the nightmare. A slower baby. Last time there was something. Okay, I say we needed to see. I'm a little worried that we left something all the way down here. So let's double back. <laughs> We're getting a little gray at the moment, so we have taken that hit. Definitely counted. I think they all probably did. I think this is where we more or less started from. It is. Okay. Shame we can't... Well, it's not that type of lantern, Tim. We can't, like, hook it on your belt and carry it in such a fashion. Like Link did in, uh, Twilight Princess. Although you should be grateful that there's no oil required to actually use this this lamp. Okay, we're gonna go and investigate Mary and the guardian angel that looks like it's watching over her. and Mary. Did they know each other? I think so. I remember that moment. It's like my memories are fragmented. Alyssa. She may have been, we may have been here for a while before the treatments began. And we don't remember everything that transpired during her treatments. But that would give her maybe time to meet Mary. Dear Leonore, I've barely spent time with Victor since we got to Grav Hill. Every night he meets Edmund in the library, and the next day he is too tired to spend time with me. I know something is tormenting him, but he doesn't want to talk about it. He asked me to trust him. He says that with Edmund's help he will find a way to heal me. However, I think that it is a wasted effort. 
<laughs> Time passes slowly in this place. A few days ago, I met a girl when I was walking in the gardens. Her name is Mary. She is Edmund's daughter. Strange that I haven't seen her before. Mary's a shy girl, but little by little we become friends. I hope to see you soon, Leonor. With all my love, Alyssa. <laughs> the last time we heard that, it was the specter it's over to our right but we left an area unexplored over here past the Goths. oh or maybe not even here. You know, they did kind of look like the spiders from New Jersey, too. Oh, more ammunition we left. Okay, we left ammunition behind. I think we give came down here. Alright, viewer, get ready for another jump scare. Not this time. This time we can see her. I wonder if it's the corpse that's crying, or if it's the specter that is. <laughs> the apparition again. What does she want from me? A tomb. Maybe all this makes some sense? Oh, it's a girl holding a baby. Not quite dissimilar to the apparition we had just seen. How did I get here? When I was young, I used to walk when I slept. When I woke up, I had the same feeling. Ugh, this has not been a dream. Amber Medallion. A locket made of deep golden amber. There's a human hair suspended inside the shape of an infinity symbol. My dear Magda, soon we'll be together. Magda was one of the... Oh, I forget the Count's name, we just read it. Right, but there was a picture of her with her throat slit. Maybe this is her? Magda Steinrot. Your departure was unexpected and painful, but your memory will live in my heart forever. Maybe Lord Steinrot was looking for a way to save her, too. I'll give you a safe room. A musket! That's looking like a blunderbuss, actually, to me. But I don't know what we have here to take it at the moment, so I guess here it will stay. Some more laudanum, which fills up our inventory space, so let's get some of this stuff stored. Some more ink. I've been playing for just about an hour, everyone, so I guess we should probably stop here. Oh, two ink vials that time. Okay, that's good. We could take the hair out of this, but I don't know why I would want to do that at the moment.
I think we'll just save the game and fin oh, as usual. I think we'll save the game and call the session viewer. Yep, so we'll stop here. Thank you all for watching. When we come back, we'll t keep exploring more of the mansion. I guess we're here in the garden? No, we can't be. This must be some... We're still so someplace else. Alright, I'm babbling. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.